Hello YouTube, Default Sage here with another video. My goal is to hit 2,000 subs, so if you enjoy the content, if you find it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. That said, let's get right to the video. So in this video, it's currently eco round. We just lost pistol round, so now we decide to go mid to B site and see if we can get an easy plant. Now, as we approach, KO does reveal a couple of us with his dart. However, Jet is able to get first blood on their Jet at Boiler, so now we're in really good shape. Reloading. As we hit B site from mid, we do see Omen defending in B long, and I decide to plant in the middle of the bomb site. Now, Jet and I decide to defend from Snowman because Reyna is in Kitchen and Viper is in B long. However, we do see both Sage and Yuru in spawn and then now KO is in B long. Let's pause here and talk through next steps. Sage and Yoru are coming from spawn. KO is coming from B long. Why do I have my knife out right now? Now based on their locations, I'm gonna head up to kitchen so I can get the high ground on defusal. One it's enemy currently remaining. a 2v1 so we're currently in good shape. He does know that Reyna is snowman based off of her kill on Yoru there. Remember play time not frags. Okay, this is bad. Kao reloads at danger, and he sees me in halls. I do not challenge this angle, but instead I need to switch positions for defusal. So I back up and I run towards mid. Now, as he engages Reyna, I do not shoot him here again because we are playing time, not frags, and this would have revealed my Last position to him. Standing. So as he's going for defusal, he still thinks that I'm in kitchen, so you'll see that he's not even paying attention at all. And we do clutch the round. So in this video, it's currently eco round. We just lost pistol, and we decided to split push into B and take teleports from A site. So you'll see that Yoru and I are walking into B, we're not making any noise. And our team is trying to draw out util from A. Omen gets first blood on Fade and Bathroom, and that is huge. Reyna gets second blood on Chamber and Elbow, and they call for a teleport into A. Now, after I take the teleport, I haul ass into A, and we have complete site control, so we can essentially plant anywhere. So knowing this, I'm going to plant at the default location, because this is the best wall spot post-plant. So... We do get the spike down, and I wall up the spike. It's currently a 4v3 because they do have guns and we have just pistols. So I plant the spike, I grab the specter, and I run around to bath. Now, we don't have a lot of information on their locations, so I'm going to play slow here. And remember, we're playing the time, not frags. Killjoy does kill Reyna here, so now it's a 3v3. They start shooting and we see Astra and Killjoy at the default spot. However, we still don't know where Reyna is. She does kill Omen, so I know she's in front of me. We kill her, we kill Killjoy, we win the round. Now, as we conclude the video, I hope you found it to be helpful. I wanted to touch base on why I wall off the spike. People will always ask, why don't you just wall off a lane? That's more useful. It's all situational. So let's break down the math. The bomb timer is 45 seconds. The wall timer is 35 seconds. It takes 7 seconds to defuse the spike, and it takes 4 seconds to kill one single portion of the wall. So if you play time and you truly stick to it, the defenders have little room for error in order to clutch.